I'm Full Deck. And I'm missing a few cards. And today we're delighted to be solving a puzzle from Sudoku Tudes Set 8. The puzzle and the pack that it comes from will be linked below. And today's puzzle in particular is Hook Up by Bremster. The rules are pretty simple. Hey, well, let's go through the rules, let's shall do we? It. Okay, it's normal Sudoku rules apply. Every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box has to contain a complete set of the digits, 1 through 9, without repetition. And then we also have cages. So digits in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Often you'll see as part of the rules that digits can't repeat, but none of these cages extend um, out of, they're all contained within a single box or a single row or single column, so digits wouldn't be able to repeat anyway. Uh, so for example, the cage that Missing has highlighted is a 16, so the two digits in that cage would have to sum to 16. Those are the rules, that's it. Okay, uh, shall we restart the timer? Yeah. Uh, re Restart the puzzle to restart the timer. Restart the timer. And let's give this a whirl. Alrighty. Now, that cage that you selected immediately screams to me because it's a 16 cage in two cells. Uh, the two largest digits are 8 and 9, and they sum to 17, which is one more than we need. So we need to reduce one of them by one. If we reduce the the 9, we'd have two 8s. Um, and so we're just going to reduce the 8 and get a 7, 9. It's the only possible combination of two digits to make a 16 cage. Okay, I'll see your 16 and I'll see this 6. Okay. Uh, a 6 cage in 3 cells has to be 1, 2, 3. That's the absolute minimum you can put into 3 cells. Well, I'll take your 1, 2, 3 and pop down to box 9 where there's a 7 cage. That's box 7. Box 9. That's a 7 cage. There we go. 7s and 9s everywhere. So your 1, 2, 3 gave us 6. Now we need 7, so we need to increase one of those digits by 1. Increasing 1 or 2 would give us repeats, so let's make that a 1, 2, 4. Okay, I'll go down to the 15 cage that I thought you were going to go to. Oh, I see. <laughs> because this now can't have a 1, 2, or a 3 in it. And if if it doesn't have those digits, the smallest we could put in is 4, 5, and 6. And 4, 5, and 6 adds up to 15, so that has to be 4, 5, and 6. And then to just complete out the column, 7, 8, 9, and that cell looks very... Very suspicious. If that were an 8 or a 9, we would be in big trouble for the 10 cage. Uh, the smallest that the other two cells in that 3 cell 10 cage could be is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So row 6 coffee better be a 7 with the... Oh, would you please turn off the pencil mark checking? Thank you. Okay. We've been testing puzzles, and when we test puzzles, we often have pencil mark checking on. Uh, but for solving like this, we don't like to have it on. Well, But you can take those 7s out if you would. Yeah. So this, 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 <laughs> this seven cage. I really want you to have both seven I'm cages. I'm not going to do both seven cages yet. I'll do this seven cage. Okay, you do that seven cage. Uh, that seven cage can't have a one or a two in it, so the least we could have in there is a three and a four. Lots of minimizations going yes, on here, let's or maximizations. Let's complete that box with a five, six pair. Okay. Now, I thought you were going to go to the 15 cage that's at the top of column 7 up in box 3. Because one of the tricks that we've learned from Bremster is that a 15 cage is either one low, one middle, and one high digit, or it's three middle digits. And that's because if you had two lows, uh, the largest they could be would be 2 plus 3. You'd need a 10 to complete it, so we can't have two lows, much less three, in a 3-cell 15 cage. And if we had two highs, the smallest they could be would be 7 and 8, which is already 15. So we can have at most one high in a 3-cell uh, 15 cage. Um, and then if we had two mids, any of the two, 4, 5, and 6, we'd need the third one to complete it. So that 15 cage right there is either one low, one mid, and one high, or it's all three mids, but and there's not a four four available. Yeah. yeah. So that means we need a low in there. And that low is going to have to be three because we have one, two, and already one and two already used up in the column. So there's a three in there. See, I, I thought you were going to go there, That's, but I like the logic over there in column three. I'm glad we did that first. So this one can't be a three because we have a five cage here. No, it could be a three. It could, right? be, it could a three. be a three. No, I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm wrong. Um, but let's see. We must have other wonderful things happening here. Well, we have two cages here that are both six cages. So one of them is a 1-5 and one of them is a 2-4. And between them, they'll use up all of those digits. Excellent. So I'm happy center marking 
We can do the same thing with the two five cages in row, in box two. One's a one four and the other's a two three. Between them they use those up. But now that sixteen cage, the smallest that sixteen cage could be would be three, in six, eight. and seven. In box eight, yes, sorry. The smallest that could be would be three, six, and seven, and that already makes sixteen. So that is a three, six, seven, leaving us with an eight, nine pair. And I think we could have seen that a different way. If we add 6 and 6 is 12, and 16 is 28, that leaves us with 17 to go, yep. because 45 minus 28 is 17, so these would have to be an 8 9. Yes, that's another nice way to see that. Um, let's see, what else wonderful does, do we have built into this? Well, how about box six, that trick you just said, because this, the digits one through nine, if you add them up, you get 45. So the sum of all of the digits in box six is 45. Take away the 10, gets us to 35. Take away the 12 cage, gets us to 23. Take away the seven cage, gets us to 16. So the two digits that are not in cages have to be a seven, nine pair. Just as with the 16 cage, this is essentially a hidden 16 It cage. is. And that looks left. <sighs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And now what about the... 12. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 12 and 2 cells can only be 9, 3, 8, 4, or 5, 7. 9, 3, and 5, 7 aren't going to work, because we don't have 7 or 9 available, so that is a 4, 8. And we can determine the order because of the 4s in the 7 cage. Very nice. So... Now what else do we have? So now this 15 cage might become more powerful because it can't oh, have a can't 9 eight. in it. Or an 8. Or an 8. So Wait, why can't it have a 9? Uh, because if you try and put a 3 and a 9 uh, in a 15 yeah, cage, you need another 3. You yeah. need another 3. So this must in fact be 3, 5, and 7. Yes, because we know there's a 3 in there, we know there's a 7 in there, thus the remaining digit would have to be the difference between 15 and 10. So 3, 5, 7. Excellent. And the 7, 9 is looking across in row 3. Well, okay, you're doing something different that you need to explain, if you would. So the 7 looked down yep. and took the 7 out of the 7-9 pair. Mm -hmm. The 7-9 is looking right, as you yep. say. And then for the column, we are missing. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and we're missing a 6. And we need another 4, which can only be a 1, 3. Beautiful. And that's going to make our 7 cage a 2, 5 pair. And the one three looks left, mm -hmm. giving us the four and the three. And the six in, in row four also looks left. And then the one two pair in row six looks right. What beautiful construction. This is just flowing so beautifully. So the 15 cage in box three can no longer be a seven eight. Ah, because the seven so is used up. Six, nine. Excellent. Is it worth, at this point, center marking the rest of rows 4, 5, and 6? I think it might be, because row 4, we have 2, 7, and 8 to go, and we can't put the 7 or the 8 in the 9 cage. So we won't center mark that. We'll, just well put, we put, put that, but then maybe mark the pair. And then the next row, we need 1, 4, or 5. So one or four. Let's go ahead and mark that if we could. So a nine cage with a two in it is either one, two, six, or two, three, four. Yes. So this is either one with a six or four with a three. Yep. And you wanted to mark the rest of the it row, did. which is one, four, and five. Yep. And this is uh, three, six, and nine. Mm-hmm. But if we would make those three six nines in each case rather than, thank you. Cool. Uh, and then in column five, the two looks up and down, and that's going to restrict our five and six cages. So what missing is doing because he took out the two in the six cage in one cell, he had to take out its partner of the four down in box eight, and then he also took out the partner threes in the five cages.
10 cage without a 1, 2, or a 4. Ah, I'm going to guess that's a 3, 7. I'm going to claim that you're right. Yeah. And we can tell the order because of the 7 here. Perfect. And that 3 is going to look back up. All righty. Really, we don't have a 3 or a 7 in the row. <laughs> Goodness. Um... A one, two, oh. four, five, quadruple. We do. And I have a question for you when you're ready. Okay. Where does six go in row seven? Six in row seven is here. It, okay. can't, it, it can only go in two spots because one spot is ruled out by the six in the column, mm -hmm. but it also is constrained to go in column three. So in, in box seven, it has to go right here. Okay. What other wonderful things has Bremster baked into this puzzle? Oh, where do five and six go in box one? They cannot go in column two because they're already there. Yep. Beautiful. And that leaves um, four and eight. Yes. And and the five and six we can actually resolve. Yes, the six nine pair is looking left to see that. So that has to be the five. The selection option is very excited about placing digits today. That has to be the five. That has to be the six. The five looks right. It's five out Fabulous. of there. Fabulous. Fabulous. Now, hmm. This cell cannot be one, two, three, or four because we have a one, two, three, and a four in the box. Yes. Can't be five, six, or nine. That is a seven, eight. It's a seven, eight. Wonderful. And that gives us a seven, eight pair in the column. So that is going to do some restriction looking down. So do we have any? Do we have sevens in here. Sevens. Those have to go. So that is a seven. Beautiful. And now the three six pair looks back up. Three six pair looks back up. To, to, to row there. six. Yeah. Gives us a nine. Fabulous. One three four triple in the column. Beautiful. Five makes that a six. Excellent. And that a one to fill up the nine cage. Yep. So there's no one there, so there's no four there. Beautiful. There's no one there, so there's no four there. Beautiful. And the three, four, and the one look down in column five. Making that a five. So a that's one. not a five. So it'll be a one to complete the six cage. Oh, yes. I couldn't see the total. So yeah. we can take one and five out of the other six cage. Beautiful. We had a two, four, pair looking up. Well, let's take the four out there. <laughs> but also take the two out of here to make that a one and that a four to make five, making this a three and a two to make five, looking across to here to get a one. Oh, this is just unfolding so beautifully. So the three looks right. All righty. Now, we also have a one already in box five. So in row five, we can take the one out and we'll get our five and we'll get our four. And also, we need a six in this row. And there's a six nine pair in box three. Ah, and there's lovely. A six in box one, so the six in this row is like beautiful. Here. So the rest of row three, we need a four eight, and they're placeable because there's already a four in column eight. Yep, this four looks up and places the eight. Beautiful. And now the rest of box three is a one two, which is also placeable because we already have a one in column eight and a two in column and the eight. The two looks left. And the three looks back right. We have, what's going four on for looks, one? Sorry. Yeah, no, you're seeing it too. We have too many digits. Oh, the four. The four is looking back and resolving the four eight. Okay, cool. The eight makes that a seven, that a four. Beautiful. So what do we need in this box? We have one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. Well, we can also, we can finish box five after we mark that, and that might actually make okay, it easier. Okay, let's do that first. Eight, and then that makes that a seven. We also have the six looking there to give us the three. So yes, yeah, so you said five, eight, nine for the rest of row two. So that's a five. Well, let's okay. Mark do it. do marks yeah, no, like So that. there's a five looking up, and I don't see anything else there. 
there's five looking up to there. And see, and I was looking at the there. fact that there were already an eight and a nine in column four to place that five. We see the, I love how we see things differently. It gives us lots of opportunities to combine knowledge. Okay, the one is looking right in this Very row. Very nice. Let's take the one out. Um, okay, so now what we're, I'm sure we've probably, we've been, I've been avoiding that tin cage in box. It's either seven. one nine or two eight. Cannot be three seven because it sees a seven in the row and it cannot be four six because of the fours and sixes already in the box. Yes. Okay. So one nine in either order. Oh, let's two, ask eight a in better a question. Order. Okay. Good questions. Where is four in this row? In row seven. Ah, yes. Four cannot go in row seven in box seven. So let's take it out of the pencil marks here. Okay, now we have two. Now the question becomes where is two, roughly speaking, in row seven? Two can't be in rows eight or nine because it's uh, locked into rows eight and rows nine in these two boxes. So two has to be in one of these two. And the wonderful thing about that is it takes it out of the 10 Yes, page. which makes that a 1-9, which is fabulous. So it's fabulous, except we don't know the order yet. No, but that's okay, because the 1-9 yeah. is going to look right and clean up our 2s and our 1s yeah. and our 4s. So and the 1-9 one nine, one nine pair here takes 1 out of this cell, so that's a 2 and a 1. The 2 looks left, they give us a 4 and a 2. The four looks left. The four looks left to give us a five and a four. Um, <laughs> two, eight, and nine. Yep. So. But that, not nines. So where is nine in row seven? Ah, where is nine in row seven? Because it can't go in this box, it is only here. Yes. And now we can place the eight in the row because it can't be here because of the eight in column two. So that's an 8 with both pencil marks, that's a 2. We need 3 and 7, and there's a 3 in a row. So that's a 3, and that's a 7. The 3 looks right to give us the 6, and the 3, the 9 resolves the 8-9 pair. Okay. So do you want to clean up um, columns 1 and 2 first? Sure. The 2 looks up. Is that the easiest thing to do? I think so. I think that'll that'll, that'll, that'll the seven. Yeah. Uh, so that's a one. That's a two. The one looks down to give us a nine and a one. The nine looks up to give us a seven and a nine. The nine looks up to give us an eight and a nine. And we have pairs here. Five and nine for yes, that five pair. Five and nine. Let's put them in. This is six and eight. Yes. And let's see, we've got an 8 looking down to give us the 6 and the 8. The 6 looking up to give us the 9 and the 6. And either the 5 looking down or the 9 looking down to give us the 5 and the 9. What a lovely puzzle. That was, that was so smooth. Yeah, it flowed, so flowed clean. beautifully. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, so if you are enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the pack, I know that it would help uh, Bramster for you to hit like and subscribe, uh, but also just go play the puzzles. The puzzles are fun. They're great. They're linked below, and uh, Bramster keeps a lot of other puzzles on his Patreon page, lots of free collections, so yep. enjoy. Yes, and as Bramster would say, good luck with your solving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>